Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jimmy McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello, hello, hello. We are live in a city that I don't know what it is, but here we go. Friday Night Stand Firm. The card has not been released. The new or gem here in Miami. The card has not been released tonight. All we know is that Mr. Jim McMahon is going to open this show, and he is dedicating the next hour to two hours to what he says is the most... Well, oh, there we go. It looks like Tony plays poorly, our, our featured athlete. Shocking results here. I thought for sure we were going to have to sit through two hours of Jim, Jimmy Minmax tastic but no... A bright shining spot, Mr. Jim McMahon heading out to the ring in a moment to address the crowd, address the JFW universe, and most importantly, address Mr. Tony Plays Poorly. Unbelievable, isn't it? Eh? What a what an incredible development! I I think everybody thought it was going to be a uh, Jimmy Fantastic, the glorious yeah, one himself. I'm, yeah, I mean, I guess I, you know, very happy, Mr. Jim McMahon saw. Uh, you know, saw you know saw the uh, the better part of Valor, as it were, I guess, uh, and has really given the crowd what they want for once, instead of shoehorning Jimmy Minmax Tastic down our throats. But let's see what's going on in his head as he comes out to ringside. And now I have just gotten ten times more excited for this night. Tony plays poorly, a stand-up guy, but let's hear it from the boss himself. Good evening, everybody. So today, we have an amazing special. Tony Plays Pauly, the man who built JFW. It's all about him. What an absolute legend. Some say he's the greatest of all time. Some say he plays poorly. Some say he wrestles poorly. But I know he's a multiple sport athlete. He's a racing car driver. He's a baseball player. He's a blood bowler. He's, he's all things to all men. He's an American hero. What a legend. Get your ass out of here, Tony. Wow, the boss. You don't hear him say those kind words about just anyone. Tony taking his time. Oh, and there it is. There's the music, folks. Tony plays poorly, is in the house, and he's coming out to address the big boss himself, Mr. Jim McMahon. Whew. What a turn of events. I really thought we were in for a long, terrible show, but instead, we're getting Jim, uh, excuse me, we're getting Tony Place where I was programmed to expect Jimmy, but no. All right, let's get back into the ring here, see what Tony has to say. Oh, golly gee, Mr. McMahon, it's so nice for you to invite me out here. I'm so happy to be a part of the JFW. You know that. I love just coming out with my buddies and Mighty AF. I love representing the JFW brand. I love giving up sometimes. I mean, I don't love that, but I try to give up never. But, you know, sometimes I got to give up. But I just want to say thank you so much for giving me the spotlight right now. Well, thank you very much, Tony. You're incredible. <laughs> Good golly. <laughs> Gee whiz. Willy Wallikers. Whatever the fuck you say down in Alabama. <laughs> you crazy motherfucker. But I think you're great. God damn it. Oh, that's so nice. It sounds like there's two dogs outside of the arena murdering someone. So this could get <laughs> real bad real quick. But I just wanted to say thank you so much. For, for, for doing all this, you know, when I put my money into the JFW universe, I know I was going to be a part owner with you, but then it seems like you just took complete control in such a perfect and lovely way. I just really appreciate you picking up all those responsibilities. Well, it was my pleasure, Tony. I think it's only fair that I'm in charge, of course, because I am the absolute billionaire that everybody loves. So, um... Yeah, I'm, what I'm gonna say, Tony, is we're gonna we're gonna dedicate this whole show to you tonight, and we're gonna start off with your buddies, Mighty AF. No, I've stopped. <laughs> oh, that's great. Sorry, I was in the other room, but totally listening. That's so good. I love getting to see 
Clavius and Frostlord get to compete on this show too. It's really nice that we have such a platform to just showcase all this excellent uh, military prowess from all us uh, corn-fed southern do-gooders and Frostlord. <laughs> Who are they going to be facing though, Mr. McMahon? Well, you can put on a great show with your lovely best friend, Johnny Five. Even though he's kind of weird, got divided loyalties with this fucking... <laughs> this fat bastard, Satterfield, and this skinny little run Muppet Pac-Man. But those three fucking bizarre fuckers, they're natural snackers. They can have a nice, lovely play with their balls or something. I don't know. Boy, howdy. That's just super news to hear. I'm so happy to hear... J5, Satterfield, and Muppet Pac-Man, the Plum Plum Loserweight <laughs> Champion himself. The unnatural snackers get to be in the ring with Mighty AF. Oh, I hope, can I be ringside to watch that one, Mr. McMahon? <laughs> you get the best seats in the house, Tony. It's only fair. So there you go. Thank you very much, everybody. There's Tony Plays Pearly. The absolute legend, the man who built JFW. Enjoy your special night, Tony. Oh, I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so much, sir. And I'm going to carry on now and say, okay, <laughs> good, enjoy it. Oh, shit, I think you won. You won, Jim. Yes! <laughs> you won. Tony plays for him. Come on, stop being shit, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> oh so my good. god, he schooled him too. <laughs> wow, look at that, Mr. McMahon <laughs> and Tony oh, plays fuck me. with a bit of a love in. <laughs> and uh, what a night we've got in store for us now. And first up, it looks like a tag team uh, Frostlord and Clavius versus the Unnatural Snackers, Muppet Pac Man, and Tony plays poorly will be ringside. This is just going to be a showcase of the Immortals, Jim. That sounds very much like WrestleMania, uh, Gorilla Mets. <laughs> yes, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but both of us were still doing our previous characters' voices there for a second. <laughs> God damn it. Sorry, uh, Jim McMahon is <laughs> still next to me. Uh, he's he is quite litigious. He will definitely sue you. <laughs> yeah, he would, yeah. <laughs> Oh, dear me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so here we go. Tag team, hot tag team action to kick off the show. But, Damn. you know, Mr. McMahon being quite withholding, not telling us what else is in store. All we know is it's all in celebration of the man himself. Tony plays poorly. This is your life. <laughs> yes. Incredible, isn't it? I wish we'd thought of an amazing backstory for Tony, but uh, we ha we don't know what it is, unfortunately. We might have to make it up as we go. <laughs> <laughs> God, it, loading takes ages, doesn't it? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't, but this one's been real slow. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's probably worse when they can't see the loading bar. Yeah. <laughs> 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 totally. You know, I, I do hear the uh, the JFW marketing department has been working on a bit of a piece uh, that we will be uh, that we will be going through as the night unfolds between matches uh, to tell you the great story of Tony plays poorly and how he climbed up that ladder and seized that brass ring to become not only a JFW superstar but the JFW World Heavyweight Champion. I can't wait to see how that story unfolds. Yeah, should have done lemon. But you said you want to do when you were inspired, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to try and force you into anything. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, he is. Uh, he is. Uh, he is mighty F. Look, your yeah, World absolutely. Heavyweight Champion is two. Yeah, he he will be uh, relegated to coaching from the outside of the ring for this one. Not a uh, common sight with Mighty AF. Usually he's at the forefront of the fight. But right now, 
his buddies are going to be taking over in this one. Uh, did we get a stipulation on this match, Jim? It's just a normal tag team match. All right, normal tag team match it is. <laughs> I mean, unless you count the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> or ears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. And here we go. They're uh, very close friends, the unnatural snackers in full strength with newly minted Plim Plum Pluserweight champion Muppet Pac-Man in their corner are about to join us in the arena and this one should be a very fun fight. Oh, glorious. If only uh, if only some asshole had put Muppet in his right outfit, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> some asshole indeed, Jim. <laughs> he is the Plim Plum Pluserweight champion. He looks very happy about, him, about, about him, with himself about that, doesn't he? Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, the Goliath backstory. Red by Gorilla will be amazing. We need to work out. I don't think I have seen the Goliath backstory. Oh, oh! I'll, I'll send you. I'll send you it. It's incredible. Look at this. Man, we, we need to do like you. You, you could do these as like uh, as little segments or whatever. In character with your bow tie and that. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be great. I'll, I'll have to take a look at that later, but it looks pretty epic. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And true to form, the unnatural snackers in the ring, and I just had a taco delivery to my desk. Very excited about that. Excuse <laughs> me if I go silent for a while. <laughs> <laughs> what a lucky what a lucky man Gorilla Metzo is. <laughs> Yep. Oh, <laughs> look at that! J5 countered! Never seen that counter before! No. And just cradled like a baby and his back broken by Frostlord. <laughs> Frostlord out here meaning business right off the bat! That was amazing! The bat, excuse me. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> uh, lemon. I, I have no, I have no uh, knowledge of that flicky whatsoever. Monsieur Lemon did it. Oh, look at this, though. Tag team action here. Oh, oh God. You do not want that man double stomping your mid-back from the top turnbuckle. <laughs> or really from any turnbuckle. Absolutely not. Oh, big knee, though. Almost couldn't get it up for the also very large Frost Lord. But there he is. Spins around, hits the DDT, and now Satterfield and the Snacker is in firm control of this one. And by firm control, I mean instantly counters for running to the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly counter and smashed off the turnbuckle. <laughs> Instant counter. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> oh man. Be <laughs> <laughs> <The> blank page. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> I feel like that implies that Flicky Flack came from nothing. <laughs> it could be a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. oh, wow. Cheer five. Look at, oh god, is he, oh, I thought he was going to shake, rattle and roll there, the kiss no, of death. No, a big but... suplex, I'm definitely not eating a taco right now. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh. So yeah, that could be a thing, that we could get people to write their own as well, couldn't we? <laughs> and it looks like he's going to make the tag. Hey, yep, quick tag to Clavius here. And instantly countered by J5. <laughs> yeah, J5 should just curb stomp the ref every match. <laughs> if only you could just make them do that. <laughs> It'd be I know. Man, this, like, if they had just programmed in a way to, like, definitively control the results 
we could make the coolest fucking wrestling promotion ever. Yeah. Oh, look at this, though. Ooh. The big ups by J5. <laughs> Thrusted his belly a little bit there afterwards mm. in dominance. <laughs> um, it tags air, but Satterfield comes in anyway. We'll allow it, says the ref. <laughs> oh, but no countered by the Bulldog. Man, a lot of weird counters going off today. Oh, that's a good idea, maybe. That's a good idea. Need to work out. Need to work out. I can do it on Jimmy Fantastic. I've got JimmyFantastic.com as a domain, but I've got no idea how to make a website. <laughs> well, that'd be great, wouldn't it? We could just have like you could click on the wrestlers, you know, like, like, like just like the double double E where you go on their site and you see like you can have all the pictures of all the wrestlers and you can click on them and it can be like, you know, Bezel was Raised by yak farmers in Outer Mongolia. And I think all of the JFW wrestlers. Oh, big double team there. Big boot to the face. That'll mess up your eyebrows. Or maybe fix them in Clavius's case. <laughs> I think every JFW wrestler needs like one of those little cutout cards from the back of G.I. Joe's. Like the codename files. Remember those? Nope. Well, I guess uh, I guess you guys weren't free enough in in the '80s to have GI Joes and awesome toys. We did have GI Joes. I just wasn't into them, believe it or not. Oh, well. What were the GI Joe? All oh, right, here we go. Yeah, okay. I think I've I think I've googled googled them. Everyone in the audience knows what I'm talking about. So that's yeah. all that matters. Yeah, yeah. No, we had them. In <laughs> I just didn't. I just didn't do GI Joe. Nah, fair enough. I had Barbies. No, I didn't. I had, <laughs> I had like, He-Man and wrestling figures. I hated He-Man. I, I really liked He-Man. I mostly had He-Man figures, to be fair. I'm, I'm not surprised, based on your preference of wrestlers, that you liked He-Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Action Man. Yeah, Action Man was a thing. Yeah, but that, that was a bit You know, <clears throat> so Action Man's a funny one to me. When I was a kid... I thought I, I like I thought I invented a character called Action Man that I would like play in the woods and stuff. And then we were on a vacation God. to like Hawaii and we went into a dollar store and they had this like Japanese toy for like a dollar that was Action Man and I was like, Somebody ripped me off. <laughs> like someone saw me playing I know Mika, somebody ripped me off. <laughs> and uh, I was I was convinced for years of my childhood. That like some toy company in Japan was spying on me. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh, this is uh, good stuff in the snackers, isn't it? They might get a they might get a win over Mighty F here. Especially if Frost Lord has that accuracy. <laughs> Apparently right. started early. <laughs> the tacos are gone. Let's get back to work, friends. <laughs> Glorious. Yeah, this would be... Uh, you know, this would be kind of a devastating loss secretly for the Snackers to suffer after losing that multi-man match on Monday to Dress for Business, who really kind of cemented themselves as uh, the chief threat in the JFW two heads championship division mm. I had mask as well I had a mask thing <laughs> yeah I remember those two. <coughs> oh yeah action force a brand of European action figures in the 1980s it was also used to induce G.I. Joe toys mm, there you go action force I just spent half this match eating tacos and somehow I'm still more engaged in the match than Jim's right now <laughs> 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 the last ride by Frostlord and this oh no but J5 fights his way right back up to his feet and misses with a stomp <laughs> yeah I was big into those two Night Demon I had a, I had all the, the Ninja Turtles yeah I had those and funnily enough that was that was um, also kind of one of the things that I got involved in Warhammer and everything because there was a there was some bollocksy thing I remember on it must have been on the internet, right? It must have been in a it must have been in a magazine or something. 
about how to make like your own sewer thing to play with your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures and oh, like wow. using a box or something and I made like a, a fucking sewer thing then so there you go <laughs> Jesus humorous <laughs> well Frostlord took a big double team move another big boot to the face but he's fought himself right back now like firmly in control of Satterfield here <laughs> tags in the bleeding Clavius and now a double team move coming from him. Big back body drop on the big man. And Clavius now can go to work on Satterfield. Oh, his favorite move. Yep. Unbelievable. Oh, he's calling for that arc lay. Oh, this one will not be out of no nowhere as he sells it, oh, but he still sticks it. Busts open Satterfield. And this is all but over unless J5 can break up this pin. <laughs> oh, and J5, Frostler took a circuitous path to get there, but he did help delay J5 just enough to not be victorious. I said that too. <laughs> I fucked that one up, folks. But here's Clavius top rope. Missile dropkick misses. And now Satterfield might be looking for that oh, huge boy. running knee. Yeah. I think he is. Oh boy, uh, this is gonna. That's not gonna feel well on that already injured forehead. Doesn't go He's immediately for the into the pin though. Frosty's nowhere to be found, and he hasn't gone yeah. for the pin. Frostler got pulled out. Look at this submission by Satterfield. Yeah. The the half hump. And Clavius able to get out of it. And get the tag. Wow, big turnaround here. Uh, Satterfield might want to consider also doing that. Does not tag out. And now, <laughs> Frostlord manhandling the big man. Wow. Straight back into it, Satterfield. Oh, God, this is a great move. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. Just lifts him up by the nipple. <laughs> slams him. Incredible. Oh, and, he's looking and now to end I think it. we might be seeing that last ride again, Jim. No, the uh, pedigree. Oh, sorry, got... the pedigree. Yep, the pedigree. Shades of Scaramezzo here. Hits <laughs> it. Sticks it. But J5 right there to break this up. He nearly and J5 didn't bother. Oh, takes the ref out in the process. <laughs> Classic J5. <laughs> Camel talk. <laughs> oh, dear. Ref's still down, but Satterfield back. Oh, is that real stomping on the ref? <laughs> yep, he miss, misses Frostlord, ref taking incidental contact there. Now Satterfield dropped onto the ref. Uh, probably not the best idea to put a submission move in with no ref to call it. No. But I guess no ref to break the hold if he wants to. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And now the ref back up. And Frostlord doing nothing to get out of this arm ball. Yeah, Sato's moveset is great, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> I agree. Look at that. <laughs> oh, and here we go. Here we go, that black mask kick. Actually, oh. for Satterfield, it should probably be called the craft oh, mask, huh? The what? The craft, like craft beer. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. But gets the rope. Oh! J5. J5 tosses, tosses Satterfield over the rope. Oh, Satterfield about to do something dangerous here. Oh, Christ. Wow. Oh, that big flying knee puts him down. And now another black a black craft coming here. <laughs> oh. Or craft mass. Nah, maybe that doesn't work. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> J5. The, hop kick, the hoppy kick. No, Not that. Kick. Oh, Will my God. Come up with something good. It's oh. Alistair Black, Flicky Fleck. That's crazy that, like, no, you know, Tony didn't try to protect, uh, J5 didn't try to protect it, and Clevis didn't try to break it up. They both knew he just was going to yeah. kick out. Oh, oh just in the nick Clavius of time. And Clevis has to go through the ref to break that one up. I thought that was going to be a three count for a second. Yeah. Tony, watching from the outside, seems very concerned about the ref. <laughs> uh, but I think he's probably happy with this excellent performance by both teams of his friends. But, yeah. man, they're really slugging each other here. Uh, this is, uh, you know, we've got a lot of blood flying on both sides of the ring. 
This is uh, this is looking pretty rough for these guys. It is pretty brutal match. Yeah, but again, like we said, the Snackers really can't afford a loss, even even to a team the caliber of, excuse me, Mighty AF. Yeah. Uh, and you know, Mighty AF, that you know, it's Tony plays poorly night. And they don't want to be completely in his shadow. They also want to overperform here. <laughs> <laughs> he likes what he sees. Oh my oh, god, brutal. Big jumping knee. And Clavius retreats to the outside right back in, though. No fear. Even though his eyebrows look pretty terrified. <laughs> Oof. Oh god, brutal. <laughs> Crawling his way back to the car. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. oh Jesus! <laughs> J five just being flipped around like a stuffed animal right now, <laughs> and completely stomped on. Oh, and here we go! That camel clutch. We've never seen the set matches before. Never. And he does. And we still won't. I thought he might have tapped in honor of Tony plays poorly. <laughs> yeah, I know that would be something, wouldn't it? <laughs> Instead, but again, oh boy. Uh -oh. oh boy, the shake, rattle, and roll comes out. You know that means it's almost over for the unnatural snackers. <laughs> but Clavius really struggling on the outside right now. The tag into yeah. Satterfield. Frostlord is in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Satterfield having a sit. Has a bit of a sit down. <laughs> Satterfield will capitalize by having a cheeky sit down. Brilliant. Yes, should have been a submission match. Um, if only we could edit the main event on the fly. Fuck me, I'm an idiot. <laughs> nah, nah, it's better this way. It's better this way. Yeah. Submission matches don't work nearly as well as we want them to. Yeah, that's true. And there it is. In fact, I think uh, Tony Plays Poorly is actually undefeated in submission matches. <laughs> yeah. He's tapped out in a lot of matches, but I think he's undefeated in actual submission matches. That's true. Wow, that was That brutal, low running knee, that'll knock you out. Satterfield calling for the end here, but no, Clavius fighting out. Might get that quick arc hit, Clay-O. Nope. Standing drop kick, though. <laughs> and Satterfield has to roll out of the ring to recover here. J5, livid over on the corner. That's as animated as you'll ever see J5 when he's not at a Vegas uh, dinner buffet. Oh, oh. oh, and Clavius just let Satterfield recover, come in, and maul him. And now oh, I think we're about to see that running knee again. So <laughs> devastating. Oh. Just drills him. Look at all the blood on <laughs> Clavius right now. Yeah. Oh, I hope none of these other matches involve him because he is probably going to be taking a trip to the trainer's room later tonight. And oh. no, he counters the black mask, though, into a dragon screw. I think he was going for an RKO there, too. Yeah. But instead, controlled into the corner, quick tag, and another double team move. Another one of these huge, huge big boots. That's Tony left. <laughs> Maybe. It's Tony getting a little bored of this one. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Oh, there's the RKO. Oh, shit. And J5 down for the count, maybe. Oh, and sure enough, Mighty AF winning it. Satterfield and J5. <laughs> defeated again. Tony nowhere in sight. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that is your first match. Mighty AF, Unnatural Snackers. Tony plays poorly. This is your life continues. But wow, what a quick RKO there to close it out. Incredible stuff. Tony's in pain for some reason, despite not taking zero part in the match. <laughs> Glorious. Mighty yeah. Look at 
Look at Flavius's face right now. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking Vic, going on. That is as pyrrhic a victory as you can muster, folks. Jesus Christ. That's probably the J worst we've ever seen. Yeah. Isn't it? J5 and Satterfield, not much better off. Fuck me. That's brutal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much, Tony. All right. Well, we are going to go to our second match in just a moment. So. I have just been handed a little bit of a uh, little bit of a write up here on Mr. Tony plays poorly in his early years. Um, it's funny when he was only six in kindergarten, he was dubbed Tony plays poorly for the first time. That is where he got his nickname from. And I'm reading it here. What happened was he was playing with a stuffed ducky with three of his friends. And he kept yanking the ducky away from the other friends saying, no, no, my ducky, my ducky. <laughs> And his teacher was very upset with his lack of sharing, and so she put it into his very first report card to go home to his family. And the report was, Tony's an excellent student, always polite, lovely fella, but Tony plays poorly. And it just always stuck from that very moment. And uh, that is the origin of the Tony Plays Poorly nickname. And I can't wait to learn more facts about Tony Plays Poorly throughout his life as this show continues. But next, we have another match coming up. I'm hearing in my ear that this is going to be a traditional JFW stand firm little man, big man match. We know Tony's going to be one of those big men from the heavyweight division, but who are going to be the plim plom pluserweights involved and who is going to be the other heavyweight? Let's get to ringside to find out. Let's go. <sighs> I never knew that about Tony Plays Poorly. What an interesting tale. It's amazing what the JFW marketing team can dig up on the fly. Oh, I got <laughs> another taco in my hand, too. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. What a heroic character. is here. World champion. Champion. Absolutely. There is our first big man in the big man little man challenge. Who is going to be his partner, Jim? Uh, we don't know yet, do we? It's it's all a surprise. I know. It's going to be a good one. I'm sure, I'm sure, I, you know, Muppet would have been my pick if you were asking me. So that's who I'm going to guess is going to come out here. We're going to have two champions against two challengers. Should be a real fun match. That does make a lot of sense, doesn't it? Yeah, it must be Muppet. Now that you say it. <laughs> Vessel. <laughs> what other shoe could you talk, be talking about? Oh, and wait, that's LeBred Masks music. Look at that. The original Plim Plum Bluserweight out here to to support Tony Plays Poorly. The Friday Night Fuckboy <laughs> will be his tag team partner tonight. Oh, yeah. All right, well, we've got one half of this match on the card now. Wonder who they are going to be challenging. Big man, little man competition. Kicks off next on Friday, stand firm, after a word from our sponsors. Ooh. Oh, I fucked that up hard. Hang on. <laughs> Show your flashlights. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> there <laughs> we go. Brilliant. Oh, yes. Oh, wait a second. Oh, oh no, it's cock and ball torture. That may be, uh, that, that is an established tag team being put together in this match. This is going to be some stiff competition that's going to leave the opponents very limp. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> oh, dangerous words being thrown about by Flicky Flack social media manager. <laughs> Not liking seeing plain white toast uh, being completely disregarded as the bread mask is handed off to be 
Uh, Tony plays Porley's partner in this big man, little man challenge, but here they are. Cock and ball torture <laughs> will square off against Le Red Mask and our man of the night, Tony plays Porley. Yeah, and to be fair, Flicky Flack, you can't really expect uh, Le Red Mask to be loyal to you. He is, after all, the Friday night fuckboy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he gets about a bit. <laughs> Tony, I mean, so is this Tony's match for the night? Yeah, surely they couldn't possibly ask him to do double duty on a night where he's supposed to kick back, have a few beers, have a few snacks with the with his friends, even though most of them are probably getting forehead stitches right now. <laughs> probably. <laughs> But, you know, but then again, you know, if you're trying to showcase your, your top guy on the top show of the week, in my opinion... Uh, then you're gonna, you know, you're gonna want to put him against, uh, you know, some some decent competition, and uh, cock and ball torture certainly uh, have to be considered that they've had a pretty damn good showing since debuting as a tag team. Yeah, absolutely. Tony's had enough though of the little fucking goblin. Yep. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> More Tim gives absolutely no fucks about the bread mask. Yeah. Complete disrespect there as he continues to attack Tony until Tony just exited the ring. <laughs> and that could have been a mistake by Moradam because oh, look wow. here, the flim plum cruiserweight himself manhandling the literal fucking goblin. Incredible stuff. Yeah. Hey, you know, this could be a real good spot for the bread mask looking to, you know, find more time on TV, find more success. You know, Canada may, you know, Canada may be not known for their uh, military presence in the world, but they are a dedicated ally of the U.S. So, you know, the mil military boy himself, Tony Plays Poorly, might be impressed by this Canadian Mountie and take him under his wing. Who knows? <laughs> probably not, though. <laughs> probably not, no. He's probably thinking to himself, why the fuck am I out here with a Friday night football <laughs> Uh, six, I'm going about 60% chance. No, I'm going to go 80% chance. If Tony and LeBret Mask lose this match, it's because LeBret Mask got pinned. <laughs> I think probably 90%. <laughs> yeah, or is it, no, 80% right. that he gets pinned, and the 20% yeah. is he taps. <laughs> we'll see if Tony goes for more tacos. <laughs> <laughs> But now the big man comes in, cocky, sent into the enemy corner, but fighting his way out. <laughs> Tony, making a wish! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, hopefully there's nothing wrong with Tom Schniz, but uh, if he, if, you know, if this is it for him, if this is his big dream day, so be it. He gets to be in the ring with Tony Plays Poorly and hopefully absorb several ball shots on his behalf. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's maybe that was Tony's thinking. Eh? He gets the Friday Night Fuckboy in to take the ball shots. That's uh, That could be a good bit of strategy. Yeah, but the Friday Night Fuckboy doing a, a lot of heavy lifting thus far tags in Tony and gives him a very beaten up cocky. Yeah. And... J and uh, J5 and Tony beats him <laughs> off there and now decides to wave his hands around and get <laughs> back body dropped <laughs> oh, here we go pile driver yeah, absolutely a pile driver not the uh, potential new shitty Blood Bowl 2020 skill an actual <laughs> pile driver I hope <sighs> oh dear God, so well, running, hard. running, drop kick into the corner. Now, cocky, take it over the diapered uh, demon himself. <laughs> takes a clothesline and falls instantly. Yeah, the diaper's a pretty, pretty good look, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Tony is not an eighty-five percent uh, kind of effort guy in the JFW. He's a hundred and five. <laughs> 115, I would say. Yeah, maybe. Here comes a pin after a flurry of punches. Only a two count, though. Oh. Cocky no sells the kick to the back of the head, and then he fucking running bulldogs in. Yep. 
Wow. Cocky back in control. This is a very even match thus far. Yeah, it is. I mean, Cocky is a top competitor, so it's not sure, it's not certainly. surprising. Certainly is. As is Moradon, of course. Yeah. Oh, looking for a pile driver here. Dangerous move. Ooh. Oh, jumping pile driver. Hits Ooh. it on Tony. It down in the corner. Will the Friday fuckboy be able to help out here? Doesn't need to. Knew it. Had total faith in Tony there. <laughs> <sighs> it's a nappy <laughs> yeah yeah okay it's a nappy sorry I shouldn't I was doing that for our American our American oh, allies diaper, nappy, whatever. It's, a, it's fucking underwear to be fair <laughs> all it is is pants full of shit <laughs> <laughs> and and piss <laughs> And maybe it's another substance. <laughs> anyway, whatever it is, it's getting rubbed all over Tony's back right now. <laughs> oh, dear. And he tags in the literal fucking goblin for a dangerously low blow, but still in the midsection. And there's that sling blade. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking should be fun for Snap suplex by Moradam. Tony oh. trying to crawl over to tag out. Moradam's going to stop him. Put him in this submission. Nope, not a submission. A double knee stomp. And then he oh. continues to work over that right knee and midsection. There's your submission move. Tony, oh, oh his neck wrenched way back this there. This could be it. No. No, Tony a little bit too strong for a small man like that to try and apply that kind of submission. And now Tony setting up a powerbomb. Power Hits his head on the ropes. Dangerous. Now with the AA waiting. Sorry, the stunner waiting. Yeah. Stun up, stun up. Oh, he stunner. hits it. He's right in his own corner. But uh, Labred Mask kind of botched his coverage here. <laughs> yeah, Labred Mask completely let, uh, let Cocky get over there and break that one up. Unsurprising. <laughs> but now there's no help whatsoever for Mordam. And Tony really taking it to him. Yep. Might even consider another pin here. Nope, puts him into a submission instead. That would be something. Yeah. Mordam able to wriggle out. And this match is going to continue. Ooh, DDT. Huge DDT. Give, buys him some time to yep. bask in the adulation of the crowd. And now the running uh, running uh, punch and lariat, and then the bicycle kick, and now Mordam making a nice comeback here. Cocky very much out of it outside of the ring. Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh, unfortunately, Lebredmas not able to leap in the way of that one, and there it is, the testicular claw. <laughs> oh. And you know what that means. He's setting up for that nasty ball shot to try and end this. Absolutely. But first, he's got that big running double, double kick. them balls and he's going for a pin here a little hopeful i think yeah yeah just the two count cocky still not back in his corner <laughs> no. oh he's up now oh there he goes cocky waking up finally works his way back there more to him a bit winded might even want to consider tagging him in but that's kind of dangerous but he is it looks like he is going to do it no um, okay well uh Bit of brain worms there. I think he was trying, but I think there was just yeah, a bit of Yeah, Cocky decided that uh, he was going to take care of it on his own, and now the, the wrong corner to try and pull this from. <laughs> and that's why, folks, oh, the Friday Night Fuckboy saving Tony plays poorly. Unbelievable earning his money. Yeah, yeah, sure is. Well, he's one of our interns, Jim. We don't pay him for the level of... Oh, oh no! Boy. But Tony taking the ball shot as well. Ref letting it slide. And the pin on Tony. No! Uh, amazingly, uh, LeBred Mask saved the match there. <laughs> yeah. Tony very much down. And now all sorts of a scrum going on. <laughs> and now Mordan picking a much safer corner for a top rope maneuver. Waiting, uh, beckoning Tony to his feet. <laughs> oh, and that missile drop kick. Brutal, but he's letting tag out. And then he out. lets him tag out for a hot tag for some inexplicable reason. <laughs> but he has tagged Cocky in. And now I think uh, the fate of this match is firmly between the two breaded cheeks oh, of boy. the red mask. 
Here we go, the sharpshooter. Sharp this could shooter. be it. No. The red mask is pretty fresh still, Jim. Yeah, I know, but he's, he's also pretty shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Tom Schnitz. Hello, by the way. Um, low punch there. <laughs> an unseen walker. Uh, if they gave Norse, Norse Ulf's claw, I'd still use dwarves. <laughs> oh, look at that, though. Running Hurricane Rana. And the bread mask feeling it now. He generally calls for the end of the match that way and goes up top. And sure enough, that's what he's going to do. Dangerous maneuver for him, though. It generally doesn't work out. Yep. Oh. Oh, and it does beautiful, beautiful maneuver there. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> high risk, high impact. And he's got cocky literally on the fucking ropes. The bicycle <laughs> kick, too. But he has no support from Tony right now. Going to be real hard to get a pin. And no, the diving tag out to Mordem. And now the Plim Plum Pluserweight's going to go at it. These two no strangers to each other. But Mordem blocking the punch. Oh, he <laughs> sent the bread mask fly careening over. And now he goes to the oh. top rope. Oh, dangerous stuff coming here. Oh, oh, nails him. Looked like he was aiming pretty low with that punch too, Jim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gonna dump him right on nine feet of concrete here. No, reversed, and it's Mordam who lands on that 12 feet of concrete. <laughs> Gets him back in the ring, what's this move? Yeah, this is a very, very exciting match. What a great call by the booking agents to put on this very bizarre big man, little man challenge with Tony plays poorly on his very special night. Yes, incredible stuff. What's this here? Power, power drive? Oh, power yep. Bomb? Power, bomb. power bomb. Sit down, power bomb. Ooh. Just cocky. the two count on the bread mask. Cocky in the ring for some inexplicable reason, because Tony sure wasn't. <laughs> Side suplex Ooh. here. And now the bread mask desperately needs to tag in Tony Place poorly. Does not opt to. <laughs> well, he might, well he might maybe. He's taking, takes more damn over to the corner here. Oh, I think I think we might be about to see the Plim Plom Plex, or absolutely nothing. Yeah, Tony looks a bit tired as well, doesn't he? That. Yeah, he does, and Mordam able to fight out of it. And back and forth we go. Now Mordam waits. <laughs> <laughs> Still waiting. Still waiting. He's staring him down. Of course, Still he doesn't know if waiting. he doesn't oh know if God. Bread Mask is staring back because he's got no fucking eye holes. <laughs> Folks, if you've ever wondered what soccer looks like to an American audience, this is it. <laughs> oh, 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 that's what he was waiting he for. He was just lining him up. What a payoff! That's not like soccer. <laughs> Oh, oh, he slipped so kicked The out. Friday night fuckboy saves himself, kicks out of that, and what the fuck is God <laughs> doing? I've got no idea. That was amazing. Holy shit. <laughs> and, uh, Mordem back working over the red mask, but that was if that wasn't enough, I don't know what else is in Mordem's arsenal to put him away. Yeah, that was incredible. <laughs> oh! Oh! That self rock bottom busts open more damn inexplicably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he telegraphed that uh, standing drop kick a little bit. Mordem does not tag out, had the chance to, didn't do it, controlled heavily by Le Plim Plum Pluserweight himself. And now Tony could get tagged in for the finish here. Nope, yeah. And he does. This is going to be it, folks. If Tony can just get a little bit of work and, yep, he oh. looks like he knows he's probably got more to do tonight. Boosh. Here comes the stunner. Can he protect the pin? Uh, Red Mask not paying attention. Oh, he kicks and just a two count. Mordem kicks out. We've seen his resiliency before, but it's usually against smaller guys. Incredible. Not often you see people kick out of stunners, is it? Nope, not at all, let alone two. Mm. Well, I guess one of them got broken up. Yep. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, fix skull. <laughs> a goblin bruiser. <laughs> oh, glorious Tony. <laughs> <laughs> the Jim. He was also sitting around eating tacos. Don't fall for his lies. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, he's getting stared up again. More damn. Might be sizing up another low blow here. Nope, just takes a right hook. <laughs> right in front of Cocky, just getting beat to fuck right now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. This is a pretty epic match. For <laughs> it is, isn't it? Oh, look at this, though. That power bomb again. Oh, more damn confused. Crawling to the wrong corner. Yeah, I'm confused. Must have knocked his equilibrium off with that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Got covered in blood. Absolutely. And now tags in the Friday fuckboy, puts Ooh. his foot up, runs him into a nice tag tag team work there. And now the bread mask go on top oh, rope. Oh, could we see another one of those beautiful whatever Ooh. it was? Whoa! Like that. A 720. <laughs> Cocky apparently and gives that's zero. It. Look at that. Tony plays poorly. What a stand-up guy. Letting the big or the little man get the pin. <laughs> and putting over Lebred Mass. Nice win for Tony Plays Poorly and Lebred Mass. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, God. What a ball shot that was. But, yeah, a bit of laziness from Cocky there. Maybe he just wanted to, uh, <laughs> to let Tony win sometimes. <laughs> Good Lord, I got the taco sweats now, Jim. <laughs> 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 That's generally what happens in a uh, cock and ball torture uh, match, Tony. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, congratulations, Le Bread Mask. Congratulations, Tony plays poorly. The little man, big man challenge. Victorious. Glorious. All right, let's put that on again. All right, and as we await our next match, we are now going to delve deep into where the mantra give up sometimes came from. Apparently, Tony, in his middle school career, uh, was a multi-sport athlete just like he is today. Played baseball, football, soccer, and track and field. And he was just, you know, he put his all into every single one of those sports all the time. And he was very, very good at it. But there was this one girl, she was a cheerleader that always cheered him on when he was a football player. And he really, he was really keen on her, apparently. And uh, he would constantly ask her out. You know, she'd be like, hey, go out with me. She'd be like, no, 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 I don't want to go out with you. I don't want to go out with you. She'd be like, oh, come on, go out with me, go out with me. And he just kept persisting and persisting because that's what he thought he had to do. You know, he grew up on on the classics, guys like Hulk Hogan and John Cena, you know, they never give up, they never give in. And Tony, he just kept getting shut down by her and then he blew out his ACL and he dropped half of his sports and then she still said no to him and he's like, you know what, this is bullshit. Sometimes I just gotta give up. And that's where give up sometimes comes from. If you expected any of these to be good, you all are fucking crazy. <laughs> well, that's amazing. <laughs> Thanks for that, Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now it sounds like we are going to get a fatal four-way for our next match. Will Tony be in it? He just had a hellacious match that he had to wrestle. And that is his music, so here he comes again. Folks, I think you might have to get comfortable with this tune. <laughs> here he is. The champ is here. Big match, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't expecting this he looks pretty fresh after that uh pretty long and arduous match he just went through but he will not have the backup of the friday fuckboy uh for good or for ill in this one because it is a fatal four-way <laughs> and who is he gonna face in this one folks 
<laughs> Give up some names the title of the restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, yep, that's canon now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I cannot imagine Jimmy uh, Min Max Tastic is anywhere near ring ready after the hellacious attack he took on Monday Night Claw that led to the firing of Tarsus. But that's not that's not for Friday Stand Firm to worry about anyway. Tonight is about Tony plays poorly, the World Heavyweight Champion. And here comes his first opponent, and it is Mr. Emotional himself, Flicky Flap. Oh boy, everyone's on their feet, even though it looks like the arena's half empty. No, <laughs> <laughs> they're totally behind there. Oh, I guess because they can't see because of the stage thing. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, Flicky Flap looks bored of himself walking down to the ring here. <laughs> Himself. <laughs> All right, and his very exciting pyros. Oh, there they go. Yep, oh, yeah. that's great. And everyone, it's Flicky Flack. <laughs> Flicky Flack. Oh. <laughs> oh, now wait a minute. Now it's about to liven up because that is. The fan favorite himself, Dave. Dave. I don't think I can do. A, I don't think I can do a long one with tacos in. Jim might just be running his vibrator. Jim might just be running his vibrator next to the uh, the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. We have no way of confirming. But here he is, Dave. And this match, wow, look at that. Gabe, Flicky Flack, Tony plays poorly. This is a pay-per-view main event. It really is, yeah. What an incredible night for yeah, Tony plays match poorly. match on the card, too. It's only going to get better from here, folks. I, I assume I have no idea what the card is. <laughs> oh, dear. And there he is, the former champ. Wanting that title back. Oh, Dante Kellis. This is a star studded fatal four way. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> prehistoric German turtle. <laughs> he'd, be a, he'd be a fan favorite if uh, American wrestling fans weren't so fucking racist. <laughs> Who are, we, who are we talking about? I don't think it is. I think, are, are we talking race or species here? Because I feel like German isn't a race. Species. And he's not really a turtle, so it's not really speciesist either. Oh. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, I do, I guess. I don't know, you don't know, most, most Americans nowadays seem to really identify with certain parts of German history. <laughs> oh, let's not, let's not go there, please, Gorilla Menzo. I don't know what you're talking about, Jim, I'm just saying. Oh, just calling it like I see it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what a fatal four-way we've got. This is a one-pin-to-end-a kind of match. Flicky Flack. <laughs> Dave! Oh, Don Tekelis looks very uninterested in this one. And Tony plays poorly. <laughs> Flicky Flack taking out Don's head off straight away. They're nearly taking the turtle's yeah. head off. <laughs> yeah. Flicky and Don Tekelis have a little bit of unfinished business between them. And Dave, you know, just is happy to be there. <laughs> he's, just, he's just happy to be in a match. <laughs> This is as close as he gets to daylight, isn't it? <laughs> Big lights. <laughs> yeah, he is about as pale as Fall Force. <laughs> oh, dear me. No, it, it is possible. Part of Fall Force's uh, over oiling uh, issues is that he uses a clear based uh, 
clear base sunscreen and he worries about burning up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, Tony smashing him into the corner. Whoa. Well, they seem to have paired off here, haven't they? Yep, uh, that's uh, pretty common in the uh, JFW Fatal 4 way, which is also basically two one on one matches at the same time. Yeah. But Flicky Flack there, after tossing off Odom, turned his attention to Tony and <laughs> kicked him right in the Tony, fucking head. Tony got lost trying to run to the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Ran into a big boot by Flicky. And here's a hopeful pin by Dave. But no, Flicky kicks out. Odontakel is back in the ring. And now the two aspiring champs taking on the former champ. And, well, everyone's punching Flicky now, so whatever. <laughs> oh. oh! Tony back into this one with a vengeance. I think of any match he's going to get booked in tonight, this is one that he really wants to showcase his dominance because these are three potential challengers for his title. And there's the stunner on Dave. Odontakelis needs to get up to break this up. Well, he doesn't because it's elimination. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! It's elimination! <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> you couldn't yeah. have corrected me earlier when I said when I said it's a one pin to end the match. I didn't hear you. No, fair enough. Well, the stipulation secretly added this match continues. Dave unceremoniously eliminated from the match. Yeah. Oh, this is where it gets interesting. Oh, the big hook busts open Odontakelis. But it's every man for himself. Tony turns on him instantly. He yep. kicks the fuck out of him. Maybe a slight bit of a rush or desperation from Tony now, having just come out of a huge match. Yeah. Oh, the JFW Classic straight off the ropes, but there's all done. Oh my god, that looked brutal. Yep. Oh, what's this man? Wow. Gut wrench or some kind, and, uh, oh, oof, and now Flicky Flack taking on Tony. Maybe you know, considering uh, considering all things here, an early elimination for Tony might be the best thing that could happen to him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Flicky's got <laughs> Flicky's got a sledgehammer. This is Extreme Rules. <laughs> it is Extreme Rules, yeah. Oh my gosh, this match is crazy, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Stipulations getting added as we continue the match. Yeah, yeah <laughs> just drills a Don to kill us, but now getting worked over by Tony. Flicky needs to turn this one around. <laughs> <sighs> Any other rules we need? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Oh, big spine buster. Are we going to see the Adonta bomb? No, it's not false guy anyway. That's all it was. Fatal four way extreme elimination. Ankle lock in there on Flicky, but he's able to kick his way out of it. It's only punching nothing there. Oh, boy. Oh, and no, Odonta Kellis in serious trouble here. <laughs> They're both just teeing off on a. Oh, dirty move by Flicky, though. <laughs> And that actually gave Adonta Kellis a little bit of an opening yep. until Tony punched his shell. <laughs> Tried to rip his shell off of him there. <laughs> That's a little... Oh, and there's, an, uh, there's a submission move, an ankle lock on Tony Plays Paul. Oh, boy. Will he tap? Will he give up sometimes? We just heard the story. No, he's able to fight out, I think. Oh, Fights out, and look at that. Tony plays poorly. Gives up sometimes, but not this time. Oh, and here comes the Adonta Bomb. <laughs> oh, boy, and Flicky, ever the opportunist, in for the pin on Tony. Oh, Tony kicks, kicks out. Kicks out. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Only a one Kick for that a one, unsurprisingly. Oh boy, the spear coming though. Oh no, he might have ruined it. <laughs> They're both falling all over each other to put Tony Plays Poorly out of this one. <laughs> Flicky Flack trying a very interesting lariat maneuver. <laughs> that was incredible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the Uzai slow motion lariat by Flicky Flack using Tony Plays Portly's arm. Oh, what a clusterfuck. And now Adonta Kellis in serious trouble here. Nothing to distract Tony. Except himself, apparently. <laughs> yeah, except himself. Loves to wave his arms around sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here he goes. The big claws lines. Kind of went through the ropes there a little bit, but he recovers nicely. Oh, and punches the the Luthez press punches his face. The busted open Adonta Kellis. Hey, this could be in it. In the middle of the ring and the pinfall on him. Oh! And kicks out at two. Ooh, I thought that was it, Jim. Yeah, he's taken those huge uh, sledgehammer shots, haven't he? I thought that was it for him. Oh, I, but I think he's going to target the wrong guy with his stunner here. Well, maybe, unless he maybe puts not. him away afterwards. Look at that. Fucking hell. Oh, Flicky down and the pin in on him. Oh, he kicks Oh, Flicky out. kicks out at two. Oh, Tony, maybe he's doing, trying to do too much, fails to pick him up, but then counters. He's still on oh, top now, of things. Oh, now going to have to get a bit of a breather. Look at that. Oh, what a counter by Flicky Flack. <laughs> this is his chance. Can he get a Flack hammer out? That could be it for Tony. It could, yeah. No, he's doing his old school instead. Maybe not, uh, like, the best decision. <laughs> It's a lot of time and work to hit him in the shoulder. <laughs> it sure is. But was it enough? We'll find out. It was. It was. And there you go. I think uh, the match is adding up a little bit. Tony plays poorly. Eliminated from his match. Mercifully, some would say. And now we are down to two top contenders. Could one of these guys be the next person to challenge for the JFW World Heavyweight Championship held by Tony Place Porter? Yeah, incredible stuff. Sorry, I would be speaking more, but my head is wobbly as fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm used to it, Jim. And here's Flicky with a pin. Could he get two pins on two top guys? He does. He does. Flicky Flack, your winner. Holy crap, plain white toast himself. <laughs> Tony was very upset on the outside of the ring there. Flicky Flack comes away victorious, and I don't think that's unfortunately going to be the last we're going to hear from Flicky Flack in a <laughs> long time. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wowee, that sure was something. It absolutely was. <laughs> Here is your winner, Funky Think. Think. Yeah, is this the new is this the new number one challenger? Maybe. Uh, welcome aboard J5. Don't know if you missed missed the early parts of the night, but tonight is Tony Plays Poorly. This is your life. It is an entire show dedicated to Tony Quiz Poorly, his first real hiccup of the night. Uh, but it did see a hellacious match to start it off between the Unnatural Snackers and Mighty AF. Yeah, it was a great match. All right. Well, while we're waiting on the next match, we are now going to talk about the veteran himself, Tony Plays Poorly, his military career much lauded, the leader of Mighty AF. Apparently, when he was fresh out of boot camp at 16, that's right, he found a way to enlist before 18. He got put right in the thick of things. He got sent to a military base in one of the most dangerous places in Germany where he acted as military police. That's right, he was the guy who'd press the button to lift the gate for all the generals to drive into the base. And let me tell you, he saw things, folks. He saw things, but it looks like it's time to get ringside for our next match. What is it gonna be, Jim? 
take it away. I don't know. I, I don't know what match is meant to be taking place now. Oh, it looks like we're backstage. Oh, wait a second. There's a backstage brawl happening here between between Skur and Betso and Tony plays poorly. Look at that. The backstage legend himself encountering Tony. This is a sanctioned scheduled match, folks. This is not a random attack. Uh, and there you go. Two of the top guys in the heavyweight division fighting backstage. Tony not even given the respite after his last match to get back out there. <laughs> Incredible, yeah. The, the king of the backstage brawls. Skuro Met Skuro oh, the, the king of the backstage brawls is getting kind of manhandled right now. So. He, he is a little bit. <laughs> I think it's one stunner and we're done, folks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Apparently, Lemon, I think that's his only chance to get on TV. <laughs> Unsure why, but it could be because he's the first person and the only person really to successfully put Jimmy Minmax Tastic in his place on the mic or backstage. <laughs> Even though they never fought backstage. Uh, looks like it looks a bit like Dean Ambrose, but of course, maybe he's hoping to get in the JFW sometime. <laughs> yeah. Carlson's <laughs> dojo. Oh, Flicky, trying to start a war of words, but uh, none to be heard. Uh, from uh, from the very busy right now, Skirometsu taking it to Tony. Oh boy! Oh, and that da dangerously close to that electrical panel there. We've seen that end matches before, folks. Oh, we have maybe in careers. Who knows? He hasn't uh, he, he hasn't wrestled since then, has he? Old oh, poor old Jimmy Fantastic, everybody's favorite wrestler, the glorious one, the EAB champ, and the tag team champ. Well, anyway, the more responsible and, uh, and, uh, oh, look at this maneuver. Oh, shit, this could be it. Look at that. <gasps> Tony's <laughs> neck just bent over backwards on that one. What a maneuver by Scaramezza. But, yeah, moving everything away to, to perform such a death-defying move like that <laughs> safely outside the vicinity of that electrical panel. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, could you imagine doing that move on 15 foot of concrete? I, I, I'd take one foot there. I don't think I could imagine doing it. Oh, but Tony has recovered very nicely. His neck is about as thick as my dick, folks. Wait. I don't think... We were absolutely rock hard today. So is my cock. <laughs> well, going up on the equipment box. Look at this. He's sizing him up. <laughs> then he jumps back down. Tony, get away from the pan. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought Skrull was going to send him into that panel. <laughs> oh, you, you're still recovering from that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit. Oh, man. I'm, I think I'm done for the rest of the match. <laughs> well, this one tells its own story anyway. Whenever it's Skirmetso going to town backstage, writhing around holding his lower back on the floor, you know you're in for a good one, folks. Oh, boy. Oh. Just throws him on the ground. Oh, and Dean, Dean and his wife running out of the arena. <laughs> oh boy! Oh god! What a what a stomp that was! Oh. Fucking hell! Oh man! And Tony just taking the boot to Scarrow now. Hasn't gotten a big move in at all, but he's getting a lot of those little ones in. <laughs> Oh, and oh. the stunner. No, the counter. Oh, Skuro counters out of that stunner. Probably mm. saved the match for himself. Probably. Oh, my uh, God. And then sends him into that wall. <laughs> oh, there's the pop-up power oh, bomb. The pop-up power bomb. Match not over, though. Oh, the there's thing. that knee. We've seen this and backstage brawls before. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, and there it is. Skuro just... Bashing his head into the floor, Skurmetso wins backstage. Tony plays poorly defeated. 
Unbelievable stuff. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I, I hit my mic by accident. All right. Well, now we are going to talk about Tony's first love, the game of Blood Bowl. He is a former coach, a former player, and he is best known for competing on a team of ogres in which he got his epic quote, someone give it to me in chat right now. Tony plays poorly, was a passer, he was a thrower, he was a guy who punched things a lot in Blood Bowl. He was the best For of the best. Sake, and Tony, thank you. Finally. Stop being shit. <laughs> and that's where that came from, because I got nothing else after that one. <laughs> What do we got now, Jim? It sounds like Tony has another match on the cards. Yeah, it does, yeah. yeah it was a oh, I do not envy him, but if anyone can pull off this gauntlet of matches, it is Tony plays poorly. Let's yes. get to ringside and see what we've got for a match here. He is a true American hero. If anyone can do it, Tony can. Well, I don't, if it makes you feel better, Tony, I don't think the injuries really carry through match by match in this game. How injured am I going to be? Dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty permanent injury. He's looking, yeah, looking pretty chipper for a guy who just had his fucking back of his skull driven through 18 feet of concrete. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, not his hobbies, it was the fact that he's yeah. a multi sport. Yeah. Yeah. Bezel, Bezel nailed that one. Looks like Tony's permanent injury from the last match was an AV up. And here he, yes. and here he is to keep on competing. Yes, get in. Perfect. And he's actually trained by Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, Squirrel Dude. He was uh, yeah. trained in marketing by John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> So he's really got the best of both worlds. Yeah. Oh boy. That absolutely true. Tony plays poorly. That's why we haven't made any merch whatsoever. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is a hell of a one-on-one -on -one match here. EAB, a former super heavyweight champion, the former holder of the EA belt, its namesake, one-on-one -on -one against Tony plays poorly. This should be an epic brawl. Maybe maybe the most fair match he's been in all night. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Incredible yeah, you stuff. know, I mean, this is a tough competitor, obviously, but Tony a bit of a giant slayer. And uh, at least he only has to focus on one man for this match, and it is extra arms bought. <laughs> Brilliant <A -A> <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe Imperator Augustus has just discovered the JFW. Welcome aboard, sir. <laughs> you are in for a goddamn treat, and if you need to get yourself caught up on all the JFW action, Go to JimmyFantastic.com or head to YouTube and search for Jimmy Fantastic. You will find a playlist with all of the JFW action, our Monday Night Claw, our Wednesday World Class, our Friday Stand Firm, and all the pay-per-views from the last few months of isolation. Oh my god, what's this? Yeah, that is Robo Bezel. Is he out here to manage EAB? He didn't come out with him. <laughs> Bezel! Bezel... Full Robo Attire did not cover up the Delicates, and he is here to manage EAB in this match. Bezel, of course, coming off an incredible victory over over uh, Demon Prince Rick Reckless on Monday night. Shocking victory, but you, you can see it took a toll on him having to resort to that cybernetic upgrades to keep things going. And wait, Jim, it, it looks like he's going to wrestle. Wait a second. It's is this a handicap match? This is a handicap tag match, folks. Well, suddenly the odds are no longer Tony plays Portly's favor. A two-on-one handicap match. Thankfully, not a tornado tag match. Oh, God. 
But Sony plays poorly dollars. after the 90s ad is now going to have to go through Extra Arms Bot and Bazaar. Bazaar. <laughs> Uh, if look, I will say this: you know I have bad, you know, bad feelings about Jimmy Minmax Tastic. But if Jimmy Minmax Tastic can make it into the ring tonight for a match, I think we should all take a moment to to just kind of uh, drink in that gloriousness because there is no way that guy could wrestle in a match after the beating he took and the dangerous uh, electrical board uh, uh, injury that he suffered on Monday night. That's very true. Oh boy. God, a nice look at EAB's asshole. <laughs> not EAB, <laughs> Bezel. Bezel. <laughs> and Bezel does not continue to trend. Tony stomping him in the shin, able to fight back, but he will not be able to tag out in this one. This is a, a very, very difficult match. We've never seen the underdog win one of these matches before, Jim. No, not on TV. With uh, the Cocky did win one, funnily enough, uh, but that was on stream, like the stream. Ah, fair enough. Match ne never on, never on a stand firm or claw, a world yeah. class. Sure, but if there was anyone in the JFW who I could imagine winning under these odds, it would be this man right here. Absolutely. Tony plays poorly. The man of the hour. Tony plays poorly. This is your life continues on. JFW, stand firm. Too sweet to be sour. Funky like a monkey. Oh, oh, oh yeah! <laughs> oh, oh this would be a hell of a strategy, getting double counted out. Yeah. No, he could have just run up the ramp on this one. <laughs> That's probably what most people would do. <laughs> but Tony only gives up sometimes. <laughs> but after the experience he just had backstage, maybe he knows better. He doesn't yeah. want to just run to the backstage for another ass-kicking at the hands of the master of the backstage brawl, Scaramatta. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That would be like our very first show in the TLC match yeah. between Fash and Space Cadet in the main event. Remember when we were dumb enough to let the AI book matches for us, Jim? Yeah, I do remember that. And days. that was our very first main event was Fash versus Space Cadet in a ladder <laughs> match. <laughs> That didn't even end properly. <laughs> Incredible. Ooh, we've come a long way, and we wouldn't have come anywhere without the man getting pinned by that gigantic robot. <laughs> Tony plays poorly for buying this game for two people and really starting the JFW before handing off all of the management duties to Mr. Jim McMahon. And there you go. This is your reward for that generosity and that uh, forward thinking. Tony plays poorly. A special night dedicated to you. Yes, an opportunity to impress the crowds, give the fans what they want. A night of amazing <laughs> matches. And here we go. The, he's yeah. he's coming up. He's got his comeback on. He could do this, you know. Yeah, Tony plays poorly. No, I don't. I, I certainly hope this isn't. By saying this is your life, I'm not implying this is the end of your life. As well. <laughs> but after that weird maneuver you took backstage, you never know. But there's the oh, stunner on EAP. Stunner. With Bezel right there to break this one up. Ooh. And Bezel, for once in his life, has some initiative. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I just farted a taco. I hope you all heard that. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I, I, I know uh, Imperator Augustus Fash was long since released from the JFW. He was not a competitor worthy of keeping around. No. And Bezel, how did Bezel win against Rick? He's Nobody getting knows. his fucking massacre. <laughs> well oh my god, look at that. The disdain there by Tony. I think he's getting a little fed up with this with this celebration of his life night. <laughs> Smash body by white ducks. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh dear. 
The leg kicks wearing down Tony. Oh, oh God, these fucking running, kicks. Oh, the running knees, though. This could really, really mess up Tony's chances here. He might be out from that. Oh, boy. Oh, oh dear. well, apologies to the front row fans. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting theory for sure, Mordem. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You know, maybe maybe uh, Bezel has a bit of uh, has a bit of practicing. I don't know what the word is, the real word would be with EAB, and that's why he was. Uh... Yeah, who knows? I mean, he definitely is on a streak, and I don't mean the streak he leaves in the ring every time he gets slammed. <laughs> Hello, Frosty. Frostlord missing his match earlier tonight. A big win over fellow friends of Tony Plays Poorly. The Unnatural Snacker is nicely done. This is a hell of a performance here. Yeah, you know, Bezel and EAB um, really uh, kind of giving Tony a bit of an in here. But again, it's going to be virtually impossible for Tony to end this match with a pinfall in the ring if if he's not able to incapacitate both of these men. Well, this man and this robot. Yeah, this half-man and this robot. Well, oh, that was a taco burp. Oh, boy. Some of that might, <laughs> some of that might be coming up. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, the show's just about to get interesting. <laughs> Vicious neck crank. We've seen this end matches before. Maybe he's getting flashbacks seeing that. <laughs> Happening to his creator, Bezzer. Oh, oh, I'm not mute. <laughs> uh, yeah, on, on the main show, there was no card. There's been no card release. But yeah, the, on the main show, stand for Frosty. Yeah, this is a special show tributed to Tony Plays Poorly. Every match thus far has involved him. Here comes that stunner, though. Uh, and but this is a mystery card. We have not been given any information about what's to come. And this yeah, B will be slow. This could be it. Oh, get I thought that was it. Tony thought that was it too. Get him, out of, out, well. it too. Get him out of the ring and go for another pin. Holy shit! Tony's just fucking annihilate and Tony AAB. is the fucking <laughs> best at the same ever. time. If ever there was a man in the JFW as glorious as Tony plays poorly, I mean, there just fucking isn't. <laughs> no, there isn't, to be fair. <laughs> Those little targeting systems are currently offline, folks. <laughs> Incred oh my god, fucking hell, this is crazy, isn't it? Alright, cool, Zoom. Oh, this could have been it. That could have been it, but the ref was done for. Somebody give Zoom the link so he can add his name because we are definitely not going to remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if he's done it or not because I haven't checked for ages, but there you go. Tony with another one of those elbow drops, flips off Bezel, trying to rip that cybernetic equipment off, maybe bring Bezel back to human form here. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh, big counter though. Hmm. Chinbreaker on that metal forehead, not pleasant. No, absolutely not. Oh, it was like a glitch in the matrix then, but I think we're back to normal. There's a lot of those. Oof, and, yeah, Tony just working over Bezel now. EAB can only watch and interrupt pins, and that's probably going to be enough. Ooh, oh, EAB, EAB not even trying to interrupt this pin. Knew Bezel was going to kick out. Oggy doggy zoom. I'll have a look. Oh god. Zoom looking to doing. maybe join the ranks of Das Hot with a ridiculous hat. I'm here for it. That does sound good, doesn't it? Tag champs are champ. What the fuck? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. That must have fucking cut and pasted the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, and look at this. Oh. The double knee stomp, oh, brutal. And really taking a toll now. Now he tags in the big man EAB, maybe looking to finish this one off. Tony 
is very worn down at this point, folks. And getting just stomped on by all 600 whatever pounds of EAV. Only 640. Oh, only really. 640, yep. <laughs> oh, he doesn't give up. Look, if their if if their weights were t uh, were were team value, you'd be pissed at this matchup. <laughs> yep. Oh, boy. And now, oh, the Ooh, full, full Boston crumb. crab, the full Boston crab. Of course, EAB losing to a half Boston crab once suspiciously, but not able to seal the deal with the full. And now Tony has a shot here to get back his wind and beat the hell out of the big man. Going to that move that Scaramento used to put him away backstage. <laughs> this is a fucking valiant effort, isn't it, from Tony? This is incredible. Sure is. Absolutely. He's had this match won on several occasions, but just cannot get the pinfall because of the stipulation. Yeah. The size of a fucking brilliant. Oh, he makes the hot tag to Oh, bear. Tony couldn't stop him, and Bezel back in has a bit of a breather to get going. But oof, targeting system still struggling in this <laughs> one. Oh boy. Uh, uh, nothing was done. This is in celebration of Tony plays poorly, Frost Lord. You know, I think uh, maybe uh, Jim's understanding a little bit. Losing Jimmy Minmax-tastic. Wow, almost won the match there. Losing <laughs> him to injury on Monday. Maybe learning a lesson here that uh, we need some other big names in, across the, the shows in the JFW. That's all I can come up with. Tony plays poorly, being elevated tonight, but he's definitely being put through the ringer. But in every single match thus far... We've seen some top-tier performances, win or lose, by Tony plays poorly. So it's sure putting a showcase on of his abilities. Absolutely. It's incredible, isn't it? Incredible, really. He's come so close to winning this. Multiple occasions. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Well, you know, the, the boss moves in mysterious ways. <laughs> You know, it is possible that uh, they had booked uh, one of the uh, Mighty AF members to be a part of this match, and just due to that hellacious bloodbath that they fought through opening the show, they couldn't compete, and Tony, you know, who, who knows, maybe Tony backstage said, now, ah, I'll do it myself, I got this. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Tony's really worn down here, but he keeps fighting back. Flips off Bezel. He's firing himself up. But again, EAB is right there and able to make a pin break up. Ooh, here we go again. <laughs> Brown. Well, we sen we censored it. We censored it just to be safe, Zoom. <laughs> Fully censored. Sunset flip into a pinning attempt. <laughs> Just the two. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. And now EAB tags in, and surely this has got to be the final push of this one. <laughs> oh, Christ. Bezel being the dirty little bastard, and fucking EAB yep. smashes him in the back. <laughs> Oh, God, look at him. Oh, yeah. Ragged on him. Yeah, Tony, what a com competitor. An incredible performance. There ain't anyone in the JFW universe not rooting for him in this one. Absolutely. Oh, and there's a pin, but it's right in front of Bezel. Oh, you got the ropes as well. Yeah. I did it! What? what? I think EAB glitched out there. It looked like he grabbed the ropes. Tony plays poorly, gets the three-count pin. 
Bezel just couldn't be asked to break it up any sooner. Tony plays poorly the first ever win in a two-on-one handicap match. Unbelievable stuff. Un unbelievable stuff. <laughs> incredible. Oh, get fucked, you little cunt. <laughs> Absolutely oh, incredible. Wow. What a man. Yeah. The Tony man, the myth, the legend. Anyone asking why he's being put through this ringer, now you know he can take it and he can dish it out better than anyone else in the JFW. And that's your world heavyweight champion. Unbelievable performance. Incredible. Ooh, we. And I believe we're getting ready for our main event. So now the final Tony Plays Poorly story of the night. How he came to found the JFW. And he did so one day. He was just sitting around sick of Blood Bowl. Saw myself and Jim McMahon down on our luck. Just could not get anything going in the CCL world. Needing to move on. He said, you know what? You know what, Gorilla? You know what, Jims? You guys have such a great analytical mind. What I'd love to do is put you in front of a wrestling crowd. Because I think a wrestling crowd would really sink their teeth into your commentary. And so what he did is he bought us two copies of WWE 2K19 to practice on before launching this. The JFW, our real life actual promotion that isn't just some hacked video game that we're trying to get to work properly. And then he sold the rights or handed over the rights to Mr. Jim McMahon, an outside investor himself, to manage the JFW because he wanted to compete himself for the championship, which he now has around his waist. But he didn't want to do it from a position of management. And that is where we get to tonight. Tony plays poorly. Our main eventer, one more match for Tony Knight. And who's it going to be? Let's get to ringside. Incredible Tony stuff, Gorilla, and Don't yeah, this yourself. is an, an incredible night, isn't it? And some incredible matches. <laughs> well, if you haven't heard his music in a while, here it is once again. <laughs> Tony plays poorly. <laughs> Hashtag I'm, being told, I'm being told that this is an epic main event match, a one-on-one -on -one match. Don't know if there's any stipulations. I believe there's no stipulations, no, just a normal wow. match. Finally, a pure match for Tony Place Poorly <laughs> after running through the gauntlet. Who is he going to face in the main event of Friday? Stand firm to end the glorious celebration of Tony Place Poorly, your world heavyweight champion. Oh, yeah. Not, not only Tony canonically stronger than Tim and Rick. <laughs> <laughs> He's beat the guy who beat Demon Rick and EAB at the same fucking time. <laughs> what yep. the hell? <laughs> oh boy. There we go. Who will he be facing, Jim? We've already seen some of his uh, some of his best performances of the JFW. We've seen some of his top, uh, you know, opposition Flicky Flack and Adonta Kellis. You know, we've seen him with Mighty AF. What are we going to get here? Who is this main eventer worthy of sharing the stage with Tony Plays Poorly? Well, now, how about that? The bagpipes are on. It's McNaughton, one of the few men in the JFW to notch a win against Tony Plays Poorly. He's getting another shot here. Yeah, he's, they've only had one fight. McNaughton won, didn't he, for his shot at... Uh... It, and, and then he, he beat Tony, then he beat Adonta Kellis to get his shot at SummerSlam. He was unfortunately robbed of that by Calcium, who put his career on the line. And uh, now that that's over with, and now he wants to get back into the title picture again. So here's the rematch. Hello, Mayhems. Welcome aboard. Yeah, a rematch, a long time coming. Don't think this is a title match. We'll hear confirmation in a minute when they uh, when they do the announcements, but I'm pretty sure it's non-title. But a win's a win for McNaughton. He just wants to get his name back out there. Finally free of calcium, even though he took the loss at SummerSlam. But those two are moving on from all sounds of things. And here we go. McNaughton versus Tony plays poorly. Instant classic in the making. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, very true. Very true, Mordam. Wendy, nowhere to be seen. Probably not likely to return for, for McNaughton. 
um, was instrumental in his win over Adonta Kellis. So who knows what's going to happen here? Yeah. And starting off very physically, both men jockeying for control of this one. And it looks like McNaughton decides to turn up to another gear and catch Tony off guard. Tony's had a long night, but it's only going to get longer because he's facing one of his stiffest foes yet. <laughs> That's even without Wendy being ringside. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd go there and I didn't need to. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> um, uh, the only thing he lost was the uh, the four way, and he got battered by Skuro as well, didn't he? Backstage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he lost. Yeah, so it was like three and two. Yeah. Yeah, three and two, pretty good. So I think the only person in the arena not rooting for Tony right now is probably uh, Flicky Flack, who got the win in that four way. Uh, and if McNaughton were to lose to uh, if McNaughton were to lose to Tony plays poorly here, Flicky Flack would be a clear a clear shot at the next uh, title match for Tony plays poorly. Absolutely. I yeah I know I know Frostlord that is like that is like trying to fight Cerberus with uh, three Chihuahuas. It's literally easier to beat EAB and Bezel put together in the ring than it is to beat Skuro backstage. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh god, lovely upskirt there. Yep. Yeah, looking pretty flaccid to me. You're right, Lemon. <sighs> oh boy. Whoa, beautiful maneuver though. Doesn't continue on for the pin. And Tony Rowland gets back to his feet, and these two are very evenly matched. This is, I think, your future of the heavyweight division here. Maybe throw Flicky Flack into it. But these guys, these guys are definitely going to be going at it uh, multiple times uh, over the course of the next few months. You would think so, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Tar Tars is uh, maybe too soon. Okay. Recently fired on Monday Night Claw for his backstage antics. I don't think anyone wants to see you backstage anytime soon. <laughs> Not just because you'd have to be escorted out of the building. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, again, I cannot imagine Jim making it into a ring <laughs> for a very long time after what he went through. Both because of the injury and because of milking the injury to get out of having to wrestle. <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh. oh, misses with the big elbow draw. And there you go. <laughs> Tony turning it around now. Big DDT. McNaughton a little bit slow and really let Tony open this one up now. Dangerous position for him. Oh, but he goes for that quick small package. Yeah. He's coming. Oh. Oh, <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> I thought he got in there. That was crazy. Oh, God, here we go. The clothes lines. And this one just starting to heat up now, and there it is, the Luthez press the upskirt. You know it's a Friday night, folks. <laughs> oh, hooks the leg for the pin. Just the two count. Oh, there's the stunner! There's the stunner! Oh boy, big stunner! Oh, this could be over! It <laughs> really could be. <laughs> That's it! Tony plays poorly! Wins it in the main event! <laughs> Wait! That's... No! No, this can't happen! He's, he's in the wrong weight class! You've got to be kidding me! He cannot cash in down... A division. He's a super heavyweight, Jim. He cannot cash this in. Oh, boy. I mean, he's looking pretty trim to me. Oh, don't give me that bullshit. Do not give me that <laughs> bullshit. But I don't know if anything can stop Tony Plays poorly tonight. He did not break much of a sweat in that match. <laughs> <laughs> 
This could backfire for Table Leg Wanger in a way that will piss off nobody except me after the show. <laughs> Oh, he's no, going I, up fully, top, I fully expect that, Night Demon. Fully expect that. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, look Jesus at this. Table leg. Oh, the huge boot sub crushes him. Oh, <laughs> just a two count. Oh, boy, Tony back on his feet. <laughs> and now I think it's all over for Wanger. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Unbelievable. Is that is that what we're gonna say? Wanger lost fifty pounds in less than a week. We need to get him tested, folks. Tested and weighed. He's gonna stand here. <laughs> <laughs> this is how he lost the weight, clearly. <laughs> yeah, most of that was brain weight apparently. <laughs> Oh, unbelievable stuff. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, and this is like, now, now really needs to get this going quick or Tony's going to definitely come back and stun him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Will we see that patented super kick by table like Will he tune up the band? Or will Tony kick him in the dick and punch <laughs> his face off? It's been a hell of a night for Tony so far. <laughs> he beat EAB and Bessel at the same time. He annihilated McNaughton. Unbelievable. And now he's <laughs> defending this... Uh, this title shot, isn't oh, he? Oh, he puts on the full Boston Crab just trying to... Really oh. stick it to Team Fantastic there, but Wanger able to get out of it. <laughs> oh boy. I fucking hate this game so much. I know exactly what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> we both do. Yep. <laughs> oh, Wanger. Oh, table that go on top rope work out for him earlier will it work out again or will this turn the tide of this match oh. that big elbow drop he plants it into his chest hits him goes for the pin this could be it <laughs> no the two count kick out table leg wanger denied if he wants that title he's gonna have to dig a bit deeper and it looks like he might be <laughs> <laughs> Tony, li Tony, not living by his stalking mantra of give up sometimes. <laughs> oh no! And here comes that. He's tuning up the band. Super kick coming. Will he? Will he connect? Will he miss? Oh no! He connects, and that's got to be it, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Two count, count. Oh my God, Tony! <laughs> <laughs> Tony's too much, isn't he? Yeah, this is unbelievable. <laughs> oh, and now here comes Tony this is exactly what you expect I think we're going to see a stunner in about 8 seconds <laughs> well Probably. maybe not oh, Wang has got a bit lost Wang though. taking a long time to put the headlock on him <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Send in Frosty and Clavius. I mean, the problem is they got taken out in the first match, didn't they? Yeah, they, they took themselves messes. out in that hellacious match against the unnatural snackers. Yeah. Tony's on his own. Oh. <laughs> Wanger just fi trying to feel his cock. Find out if it's as thick as Skuramezzo's neck. <laughs> Uh, they also took the, the, that was who the match was against Frost Lord. All four of those guys took each other out. Oh no, Wanger, no one home there. <laughs> Tony now able to maybe turn this around. Maybe. Boosh. Hammers him with the elbow. <laughs> Just the one count. Oh boy. This is turning into an epic uh, match. <laughs> yeah, sure is. 
We thought that the uh, McNaughton match would have been one, but that was just a that was just a squash. Whereas this is really good. Oh, but they yeah they just they are quite evenly matched. But oh, no one home for Wanger. That gives a uh, Tony an opening. Ooh. Throws him out of the ring to buy himself a little bit of time here. Yeah, sorry, I can't help but. Well, we we legitimately have no control over what happens in this fight. Yeah, exactly. Believe, believe me, I I will I will talk about that after this ends, <laughs> depending on how it ends. Yeah. Oh, here we go, smashed into the. Thing. Oh boy, that's brutal. Come on, Tony, you can do it. Langer a little stunned, not quite. Oh. Oh, oh God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Looks like some brain worms in a full effect here. Yep. This is how Tony gets back into this match, folks. <laughs> There's the counter. Nope, no counter. Oh, oh big DDT, DDT busts open Tony into the pin. This could be it. Oh! <laughs> oh, last second kick out. Tony bloodied, still fighting. Can he turn this around? Oh, boy. Oh, he can. Here comes the stunner. <laughs> stunner, stunner, stunner. Oh! Oh, the kick out by Table Leg saves his chances on the money in the bank cash in. Oh, oh boy. Oh, my head. Oh. Oh, wow, what a maneuver for a Yeah, big I match. thought Tony was going to get something off there, and uh, he didn't. <laughs> oh, very nimble. Oh, oh the kit up. Go on, Wanger. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. I mean, he's not my buddy. He's Jimmy Fantastic's buddy. Um, does, does a lot of preening to lock in another headlock that didn't work out for him last time. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's going to work out for him this time either. I, I'm totally unbiased, of course. But come on, Wanger. <laughs> yes, I too am unbiased and definitely don't want Wanger to win it. <laughs> Oh, boy. And here comes Wanger. One last push, maybe. Oh, there oh, it is. There's the super kick. He falls on him for the pin. <laughs> Tony, please, Bully. We've got to get this guy drugs tested. This is ridiculous. Oh, big elbow drop. <laughs> Going up top again. Now he's brain wormsing again. God damn this game. <laughs> oh dear me. All right, Wanger just taking it to him now. <sighs> And just bouncing his head repeatedly off the turnbuckles. I don't care, Jimmy. I, I, I don't care. I'm allowed to be annoyed. <laughs> oh, dear. Lovely moves from the ref. <laughs> what has Wanga got to do to put Tony away? <laughs> yeah, uh, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> He's oh, he he actually it. found the ropes this time going up top. Will he hit it? <laughs> Give up no times. <laughs> the big elbow drop coming. Oh dear me. Sometime. No, the big elbow drop not coming. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Nails oh, him. he lands it. Does a little bit of a teleport. Will he pin him? <laughs> oh, works. no. But here comes the super kick. If he connects, this has got to be it. It's got to be. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely doesn't connect. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, rough taken down. <laughs> Ref down, no count on Wanger here. Oh god, this is a way to win the match, isn't it? <laughs> Ref Ten finally count. recovers. Okay. <laughs> well, Tony certainly had the three count there. If he can't get the win now, he's going to be robbed. Blood streaming from his forehead, but he is in control of Wanger briefly. Wanger now up to a vertical base, and now... Sent into the corner. Big elbow. Oh, boy. Yeah, Tony knows he's bleeding. He knows he's got to try and end this real quick. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> There's the stunner. Oh, my God, he's done it. He's going he's gonna to defend the cash in. No. Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake, Tony. <laughs> Table leg wanger denies him again. <laughs> what does Tony have to do? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, he's going for Oh, he's going to try and make him tap. He's going to try and make him tap, Jim. All oh, the humanity. Can Tony not give up? Oh, he didn't. He's already he didn't not given up. up. But he goes in for the pin instead. <laughs> Just the two count. <laughs> 24 hours streaming coming. <laughs> yeah. <Damn. laughs> oh boy. This is something, isn't it? <laughs> oh, he's kicked out again. And Table Leg Wanger knows he's got to get something going, otherwise this is going to be a wasted cheating opportunity. <laughs> and he will never live it down. But he might have chosen the wrong target and Tony plays poorly. Maybe, Let's yeah. see if he can seal the deal here, though. No, Tony's still hammering him. Crazy, isn't it? Oh, tosses him off. Table that goes to the outside. Tony following in quick pursuit here. Tony's bleeding profusely here. Yeah, he really is, but it doesn't seem to have any effect on him whatsoever. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is not the thing you want to be doing, Table Leg. <laughs> God, the last second kick out one more time. Tony's sure, certainly just gonna lock in a stunner here. Oh my God! Neither man wanting to give up. <laughs> I thought it was done then. This is crazy. Unbelievable performance by both these men. Oh no, Tony! Tony is depth perception a little gone here. <laughs> Misses, oh! let's, whoa, another counter. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, boy. Oh, here's the stunner. Yep. Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm refusing to count. He kicks out. <laughs> oh my god, I can't fucking take any more of this. <laughs> we can, yes, we can, Imperator. We certainly can fucking try. <laughs> oh my god. And here comes a pin. I don't think this is going to do it. No. No, I don't think that's There was any suspense there. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Not. <laughs> oh, no. And here comes another another figure four. Yeah, this could be it. He could give up. No. No. He, he lets it up instantly again. Yep. Yeah.
<laughs> oh, and now open. table legs busted open. <laughs> oh. oh, but he misses again on one of those punches. Yeah, maybe oh, blood in his just... eyes. Sure is something. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, wouldn't sure, it, sure would humorous. It sure fucking would. Yeah, that'd be incredible, wouldn't it? <laughs> Tony going top rope. We don't see that too often. No. Here he comes, drops the knee, hits it, stomping on table leg, and now this is all but over. <laughs> oh boy, you've seen that in matches before. <laughs> Tony getting lost trying to pin him though. Nails him with the elbow drop, kicks him in his fucking nose. That was brutal. Knees him in the face. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Tony making the comeback here. Wanger with a counter though. This might be his last opportunity to get something going here. Needs to connect with one of those super kicks if he's going to have a chance at this one. He's got to one absolute fucking war. Yep. He's had two of them countered by Tony. Tony's just a machine at countering man maneuvers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Speaking of which... As, as evidenced by that there. Tony uh, looking as bad as Clavius did. <laughs> yeah. Looking like he's taking a shotgun blast. <laughs> oh boy. Looking bad for Wanger now. Yep. This could be there it. There it is, a knee fall and then a pin here. Just a two count. Wanger not moving after the kick out though. <laughs> oh and boy. now here comes another stunner. <laughs> oh yeah. god. This has got to be it. What a night. The Tony plays poorly special. He's done it all. He's won everything. He's <laughs> the only thing he couldn't do was win a backstage brawl against Skurometsu. <laughs> he beat EAB <laughs> and Bezel combined. He beat McNaughton, squashed McNaughton, and then he defended the cash in from the dastardly Wanger. What an amazing night for Tony Plays Poorly. What an absolute what? legend. Absolutely, and that is gonna do it from us. Tony Plays Poorly, the hero of the night. Jim Smith, man, with a huge celebratory evening installed. Possibly some underhandedness going on to set up table leg wanger. But whatever it was, it definitely backfired. And now there is your world heavyweight champion. No money in the ass breathing down his neck anymore. Tony plays poorly. Thank you so much for having us tonight. Ah, my name is Grill Mezzo. Yep. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gorilla Metz. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> I'm so fucking... Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> oh, dear Fuck me. off. Well, that was something, wasn't it? What I'm a... What so a... Done. I'm so goddamn done with this stupid fucking game. What a piece of for shit. For fuck's sake, Tony. <laughs> Stop being shit. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs> Bye, you